Hello friends, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn how to create beautiful infographics to show the progress of your project or performance metric. Let us flip to Excel window and prepare this chart from scratch. Here you can see that I have already created infographics. All these three beautiful infographics have been created in Excel with the help of cells, text box and line chart. We can use these infographics in business presentation or dashboard to show the progress of a project or metrics performance. These graphics will leave a strong visual impact on audience and it will improve the visualization of our presentation and report. Here I have prepared these infographics on metrics performance like service level, compliance and quality. We can also use this in presentation to show the actual progress of your project. In this infographics line chart is showing weekly performance trend and MTD performance had been shown with the help of text box and box filled with dark color. Here each box represents 1%. Creating these visuals are very easy. Let us understand all the elements which has been used in creating these infographics. In this graph, I have used line chart, text box and cell. Let me separate all these three elements. Here you can see that text box has been used to show the MTD performance. Line chart is for weekly performance trend. And 10 into 10 cells have been used to represent the value against 100%. So if MTD performance is 80%, then 80 of the 100 cell will be filled with dark color with the help of conditional formatting. Let us move to next worksheet and prepare this infographic from scratch. Here I have already replicated the same performance data which have been used in demo worksheet to prepare the graph. Let us prepare the cell based square box first. To do this, just select the range starting from B3 to K12. Here we have selected total 100 cells, like it contains 10 rows and 10 columns. Fill this selected range with light orange color. Now apply border with borderline color white. Fill the highlighted cells from 1% to 100%. To do this, just enter 100% in top left cell in highlighted range and reduce it by 1% to fill the highlighted range from 100% to 100%. Here I have applied simple method to enter value from 1% to 100% in the selected range. You can use array function to do the same. Now select all the highlighted rows and change the row height to 10. Select the highlighted columns and assign column width as 1.86. 
Now apply conditional formatting to fill the cells with darker color basis MTD performance value. To do this, select the highlighted cells and press the shortcut key Alt O D. Now click on new rule in conditional formatting rules manager dialog box. Then select the rule as format only cells that contain. Select condition as less than or equal to and give the reference of service level MTD performance value. Now click on format then click on fill tab in format cell dialog box. Then select the color as light orange, the third one. Now click on OK, then OK, apply and OK. Now hide the text value of highlighted cells to show cells filled with color only. To do this, Select the highlighted cells and press shortcut key Ctrl plus 1. It will show the format cell dialog box. Click on number tab then select custom format in category list. In type text box enter 3 semicolon to hide the text. Now click on OK button. To update the matrix name as a header of this infographics, enter service level in cell B2. Then select the range from B2 to K2. Go to Home tab, click on Merge and Center. Then select text alignment as center and middle. Fill the selected cells with orange color. Change the font size to 18. Font color as white and font style as bold. Select the row number 2 which contains the header and apply row height as 23.25. Now header part of this infographics is done. To create the bottom part, just copy the range from B2 to K2 and paste it on cell B13. Now remove the text from bottom part. So here the box part of infographics is done. Let us create the text label for performance value and line graph to show weekly trend. To create the text label for performance, go to insert tab, then select text box and draw a text box on infographics. Adjust the size of text box under the infographics. Now assign the cell reference of service label. MTD performance value. To make the text box transparent and align the text value, just select it and go to format tab. Then select shape fill as no fill and shape outline as no outline. Now go to home tab and enter the font size as 36. 
apply text alignment and center and middle now create the line chart to show weekly performance trend to do this just select the weekly service level performance data that is range start from s16 to v16 then go to insert tab and click on line chart then select the chart type line with marker now right click on vertical axis in line chart then click on format axis in format axis task pane click on axis option now in bounds enter 0 in minimum and 1 in maximum update 0.25 in major and 0.1 in minor under unit Here all these options will help us in stopping the auto adjustment of vertical axis of line chart. Now click on close button to exit from the format axis task pane. Remove all chart elements from the line chart. Add data labels to line chart. Select the data levels and change the font size to 7. Select the line of chart, then go to format tab. Click on shape outline and select the weight of line as 1.5 point. Change the color of line as light black. Now select the bullets of line chart and go to format tab. Click on shape fill and select color as yellow. Now resize the chart to make it small so that it can be fit in infographic. Move the chart over infographic and make the required changes in height and width of this chart. Now select the chart and go to format tab. Click on shape outline and select no outline. Now click on shape fill then select no fill. Select the chart and adjust the plot area. Here we have created the first infographic. Let us create the other two for compliance and quality metrics. As the procedure is same, so I am going to speed up this video and make other two graphs for compliance and quality.
Now all the three infographics have been created. So friends, it was all about creating these infographics in Excel. I have provided the link of Excel file in description box. Please download the same. If you are planning to use these infographics in project management, then I would suggest you not to use the line chart which have been used to show the weekly trend. For dashboard, create this infographics in separate excel sheet in the same workbook and use the camera tool or linked picture to show this on dashboard. That's it for today, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Have a good day.